you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped him, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> Brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the Trinity Sunday, a solemnity of the most holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. A celebration that tells us our faith and the kind of God that we serve. The article of the church, the teachings of the church, the catechism of the church has proclaimed, has promulgated that this is a dogma of faith. It is a mystery and an article of belief. When you open the catechism of the Catholic Church, number 1027 tells us that this is a dogma that is necessary for us to believe. It is a mystery. A mystery is an indubitandum, is a fact you may not necessarily be able to prove it, but it is wise to believe it. As Blaise Pascal would say, it is cheaper and sufficient to believe. Because if in the end it is not true, then you lose nothing. But if you doubt her, and eventually what you doubted is proven to be true, you lose everything. So it's cheap to believe. It's just like going for a dinner party, and then you have taken an extra flax of food in your car. Well, if the food does not reach you, you get back to your car and eat your own portion. But if the food gets to you, when you return back, you refrigerate what you have taken along, so you lose nothing. It takes belief not to believe. So the faith that is pro pro promulgated by the church and proclaimed is in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 29 verse 19, Jesus tells us, go to all the nations, concluding that gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What the church calls the Trinitarian Baptisma Formula. Without that formula, the baptism is illicit and is invalid. You do not baptize people in the name of Jesus. You baptize people into Jesus and into the Trinity, into the family life of God, in the name of God the Father and of God the Son and of God the Holy Spirit. And that is why in the church we say, Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It is a trinity of love because the Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. There is theological arguments of filial care and procession through the Son, but the church says, The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, proceeds from the Father and the Son. He is the Lord and giver of life, who spoke through the prophets. He lives in us. So we celebrate a profound solemnity, a profound dogma of the church. It is a mystery. Oh, Father, if it is a mystery, explain it to us. Well, a mystery has to be a mystery, remain as a mystery, continue to be a mystery, understood mysteriously as a mystery, for it to be a mystery. The day I'm able to explain a mystery to you, then it ceases to be a mystery. 
So how do you know? In theology, classical theology, you come to a point we call WDK. How do you know? We do not know, but we believe. St. Augustine says, the mind has three parts. The memory, the understanding, and the act of the will. The mind is the father. The memory is the work of God, the son. And the act of the will is the Holy Spirit. And so St. Augustine tells us, it is easy to believe than not to believe. When you say, oh, Father, make me to understand that I may believe. Augustine said, no, believe that you may understand. Remember the little boy whose father said, Lord, I have little faith, help my unbelief. Today we are told again in the Trinity Sunday, that we are supposed to look at the work of God. St. Paul writing to the Corinthians 13 verse 13, he says, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. That tells you the functions of the persons of the Trinity. It is one God. They share one substance, one majesty. They are equal in existence. But the function, the procession, their expression is in three different ways. As Father, Creator, as Son, Redeemer, as the Spirit, Sanctifier. Once you see a pregnant woman, you do not see three women. You see one, the woman, the pregnancy, and the baby. The same woman. When you go to the kitchen and you want to cook on your gas burner, you see the three trunks of the gas burner. It's still one gas burner, but it has three burners. So the Spirit tells us what the Father has done and the work of redemption in the Son. The Holy Spirit reminds us, lives in us, guides us by communion and fellowship. The love of God the Father is poured upon us and the grace the, the salvific grace of God the Son is revealed to us. In the first reading from Deuteronomy, you will not find clearly an expression and a reference to the Trinity. But Moses was telling the people in presenting the law to them, look at the kind of God you serve, who picked you out of all nations, who spoke to you from the clouds and from fire, because no one could see God and live. But because he's a loving God, the Israelites saw him and lived. And the Lord pursued the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Anites, and took their land and gave it to them. And then he did signs at the river, at the Jordan, at the Mediterranean, with Pharaoh, with the plagues. God provided manna for them and gave them a land. And then Moses warned them. Fear, obey, adore, be in wonder of such a God who has loved you. The only way to follow this God that is a trinity is in two ways. You respond to God's love by belief. Number two, by obedience to his will and to do his will. St. Paul in the second reading today calls us to this. We are adopted with Jesus. And that is why we can pray and say, Abba Father. Jesus is the natural Son of God. And so he has adopted us into God by dying and pouring out the Spirit upon us. Because it is the death of Jesus that released the Holy Spirit and poured it out upon us. And therefore we too, like Jesus, can refer to God as Abba Father. This is what the solemnity of today does to us. My dear friends, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28, from verse 16 to 30, that we are reading today, we are told, go to the whole world, baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For all powers on earth and in heaven has been given to me. And the disciples went everywhere, preaching the good news of Christ. Trinity, is a solemn and profound mystery. It can be understood. There are many theologians who are written on it, arguments in the church, debates have taken up, 
but there is no other explanation that is sufficient than what Jesus has told us. We, we hear of arguments of causation that nothing can be without something causing it to be. We heard the arguments of St. Augustine, the argument of St. Aslan, the argument of Thomas Aquinas, and the teachers and the writers of the church. All the arguments and the teachings and the debates put together cannot explain sufficiently, convincingly, the mystery of the Trinity. There is just only one argument that suffices, the argument of faith and belief. Pope John Paul talks about fides et ratio, faith and reason. Where reason stops, faith continues. Faith enables us to understand reason. I pray for you in this Mass that we learn from the Trinity. What are we to learn from the Trinity and apply to our lives? The love and unity that exists between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the revealed Trinity, in the economic Trinity, not in the Trinity in se. The Trinity in se is Trinity as it is. We cannot know that. We lack the capacity to know that. But as revealed in Jesus, as Carl Rana tells us, that the revelation is completed and perfected in Jesus Christ. And so what is revealed to us is that the Father, the Son, and the Spirit shares their faculty through a principle of communicatio idiopatum, where they share the Father is the Father at the same time without being the Son and still being the Son, and the Son is the Spirit at the same time without being the Spirit and still being the Spirit. The Spirit is the Father without being the Father and at the same time being the Father. How is that possible? It is a mystery. God is one, but God is three persons. So we learn from their love and the sharing and apply it to our families where you have the father, the mother, and their children. And we have never heard of any quarrel between the Trinity as revealed. For in Genesis chapter 1, 27, God says, let us make man. Who is the us? The father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. And in the high priestly prayer of Jesus, in John chapter 17 on the cross, he said, Father, may there be one just as we are one. Who is the we? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The royal we. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate in the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified in the lunch of Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have an end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism and forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, what a wonderful God we serve. Let us turn to him and pray again because he hears the cries of the poor. For the church, 
that she may fearlessly proclaim in unity of the Father, the risen Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit to all the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all nations throughout the world, that they work for lasting peace and mutual respect for human dignity and not be motivated by greed and self-interest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That we may be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in our lives and humbly embrace the truth of the gospel and bring others back to the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Becky Brown the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all our personal intentions found in our parish book and those intentions offered by our God's Love Unites Us program, and that our parish may prepare disciples to love the true, the good, and the beautiful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all corruption be uncovered and those responsible for it lose their power and are replaced by leaders who respect life, religious liberty, and all that is in accord with natural law. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all our military personnel on this Memorial Day weekend who gave their lives in service of freedom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died that they may come to know the fullness of God's joy in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. O Lord, hear the prayers of our people, for we believe in you. We are willing to respond to you in obedience and in faith. Lord, increase our faith through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The offertory hymn can be found in the ritual song hymnal number 620. Sing praise to our Creator, number 620. Thank you. 